So first I'm just going to go ahead and start by using my Bionics Platinum Essential Stay Cream to moisturize my face. And then go in with my Beauty Creations Primer Oil. And I'm just going to go in with some chapstick and kind of moisturize my lips before I do anything else to them. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, which is a couple shades too light for me. Um, but it is my winter color and I'm just trying to create the most full coverage doll-like effect on my face that I can get. And then I am going to go in with my NYX concealer. Um, I'm going to go a little bit extreme with the concealer because I want it to be a little bit more full coverage and have a little bit more effect. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Morphe setting powder in the color Banana. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and for my brows, I'm just going to basically literally draw them on. And I'm sorry, the way that my camera is acting, I have no idea what's going on with it. I didn't even notice that it was doing that, but apparently it did it. Now I'm going to go take the concealer and I'm going to clean them up. I'm just going to take a little like lip pencil and put some concealer on it and just kind of clean up the outer edges.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Hula bronzer from Better Fit. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of contour my face a little bit. Um, just to kind of get a little bit more structure and to bring a little bit more color into the face. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette, and I'm going into that very pinky red blush color. I feel like this color is best creates that dull, rosy, cheek colored kind of effect. Now I'm just going to go into that same palette and take the middle highlighter shade and just kind of put a little highlight onto the high points of my face just to give me a little tiny bit of like natural highlight and I'm just going to do that with my finger. <laughs> now I'm just going to go ahead and take the tiny brush that you get with the Hoola bronzer when you buy it. I'm going to take the bronzing shade out of the Naked Flesh palette and just kind of bronze up the sides of my nose. And Okay, so now here comes the fun part. So for this, I just took my e.l.f. gel eyeliner and my Real Techniques eyeliner um, brush, and I just kind of outlined and made a hole on my face. And for each hole, you want to kind of make sure you have like a point, like an edge, to where you can draw the branches off of. Each branch is going to kind of represent a crack to make it look more realistic, make it more... Make it look more like a cracked doll. Um, each branch is going to have another branch that kind of comes off of it. You don't have to do too many of these. I just kind of went a little overboard because that's how I do things. Um, so yeah, first, oh, there's my son. Climbed up on the chair so he can be in the video with mom. He's a wild child, I'm telling you guys. But yeah, just kind of go through and um, make them out and it doesn't have to be perf perfect. Remember, this is going to be cracks on a doll. Um, but once you're finished doing the holes and the cracks, you just want to go ahead and fill that in. And you kind of just want to put the holes in like random spots. Like for me, I'm not really doing certain areas. I'm just looking at where it might look best. And I'm just putting them just wherever I feel is more fit for a hole with cracks around it. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild paint pot in the colored white from the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers collection. And I'm going to be using this and my Real Techniques eyeliner brush. And I'm going to create the illusion of having a bigger eye. Just kind of paint that underneath my eyes. 
And I do apologize in advance because eventually I do end up just showing the top of my head and not really showing you guys what it is that I am doing. My mirror was just down below and I wanted to make sure I was getting everything right and making sure there was no spots that were like left open. And so it ended up just being more into the mirror and less into the camera. Sorry guys, I will try and get better at making sure I look into the camera more. So now I'm going to my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to take Bunny Tail and kind of try and set that with the brush. I tried doing it with a fluffy brush and it wasn't waking out. So now I'm trying to do a packer brush and just kind of packing the color onto it. Trying to set it so it doesn't move around anywhere. Or crease up under my under eyes. So next I'm going in with a eyeliner pen and I don't remember the name of this because I kind of wiped it off. I use this one so much. It's like one of my favorites but I can't remember the name of it. I got it in one of my Ipsy Glam bags. But I'm just basically taking that and kind of tracing out underneath the white. Trying to make the eye a little bit more realistic and trying to connect it to my actual eye. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Laura Lee Los Angeles palette, and I'm going to go in with, I think I went in with Kooky first, and I decided to go with this because I wanted to kind of make my eyes pop a little bit more. Okay, so then now I just went in with a smaller brush and I went to out the other to kind of go into my crease in my outer corner just to darken it up a little bit, give it a more, give it a little bit more dimension. And then I just went in with a packer brush and went back into out the other and kind of packed that on my outer corner a little bit. Like I said earlier, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And I took the same brush that I had used earlier with this and just kind of blended it out a little bit. Now I just went back and tried to use another packer brush and ended up using my finger for this. And just went in to in one ear and kind of packed that all over the lid. So here I'm just taking a little bit of my NYX concealer and concealing a small portion of my lip out um, and then I'm going back in with my Beauty Blender to blend that out and I'm going to take that same Beauty Blender and use my Morphe setting powder just to kind of set that. So now all I'm doing is going back in with my e.l.f. eyeliner and just kind of creating a hole on my lip. I haven't seen anybody do something like this so I thought it'd be pretty cool to do and it'd look a little interesting so I just decided to do it. I kind of debated back and forth if I wanted to do that or if I just wanted to have my face the way it was and just do my lips regular. But like I said I thought it'd be a little bit cooler to make a hole on my lip and make it seem like she broke her lip.
So now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to line up my eyes and connect it to the bottom eyeliner. Okay, so the rest of the look is just going to be kind of normal. Right now I'm just curling my lashes. And off of camera, I'm going to be applying my Double Decker Lashes Mascara and applying some false lashes to the top lid and right underneath where I have the eyeliner set. And on my lips, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder's lipstick in the color Envy. Okay, now I've, this is a finished look, you guys, and I really do hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you guys like this look. I am absolutely in love with this look. I will be attempting a different look, kind of similar to this, in a later video. Um, I will leave my Instagram account in the link below, where I will show you guys my look from 2015 to now. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!